This was the first proper time since starting my YouTube channel that I realised that all my hard work over the last two years was actually having an effect on the hill walking community and that people actually enjoyed watching my videos. And you'll soon see why I started to think this. So today we're climbing Ben Udlamin and Skarn Yuk 4. So it should, should take us roughly six hours to do, but again, we've got a beautiful day today. You can see the Monroe's behind us just now, so. Yeah, I'm excited for the day. Yeah, so for, for the day as well, in my last video that I put out, I did my drone footage, but the, because the tops were so flat, it, it wasn't actually that good, but on these ones today, it's quite uh, like ridge looking. So I think the, the drone footage for these are gonna look really cool. So yeah, I'm really excited to get my drone out today and film it. Yeah, it's so sunny, it's roasting. Yeah, last video as well, I burnt, ended up burning around my neck, so I, brought, I bought a new hat, which I'll show you later on, but I definitely won't be getting burnt today. So yeah, I just, just bumped into two fans, I think, I think it was uh, Jenny and Garth. Uh, oh, lo they're so lovely. Uh, and I, I think they're the second people that have only ever recognised me, so uh, yeah, shout out to them. I've, I, I think my GoPro picked up some footage of it, so you'll be able to see us uh, speaking. And yeah, I'm a one celebrity on the hills I am these days. <laughs> but uh, it's good fun. Yeah, it was really funny because when Garth went past, he, he saw my top and was like, oh, that's Dan Munro. And then Jenny was like, oh, I need to get a selfie with you. And I think that's probably the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. And I'm so glad that my drone was able to get footage of it. But I definitely didn't let it give me a big head. Yeah, like I said, second time I've been recognised. So, yeah, nah, it's really it's really funny when people do recognise me. I, it, must be the, it must be the top. It's e I'm easy to spot now. But no, it's, that's really cool. They're, Everyone's so lovely as well. Yeah, so five minutes further on and I'm still grinning. I'm just a famous man now. Yeah, I think my ego's getting a bit, a bit out of control these days now, I think. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's cool. I did end up getting some really nice drone footage as well, so I'll play that just now. Yeah, me and Chris were just chatting a lot and uh, we ended up walking about five minutes past the point where we have to go up. So when, when I get there, I'll, I'll show it. It's just so you don't do the same mistake. But yeah, it's just a bit, a bit further back. Right, so we are starting the uh, uh, 300 meter ascent up to the, to the first ridge or walk along, but I thought now's the perfect time to shove on my new hat because it'll keep me cool. But yeah, I got, I got it online for like £20. And it's, it's, it's brilliant. At every angle, it'll just keep the sun off me. So yeah, I think it was a, a good purchase. Yeah, still just making my way up the steep part. Views in the back are stunning. Whoa, it's still absolutely roasting today. Right, we're almost at the top of the first ridge bit. I've noticed once you get halfway up, there's really no path at all, so it's one of these, just find your own path up. Yeah, it's good, but this is like going to be the only really hard work of the walk. There'll be another bit later on to go up to the other one, but it's not going to be as bad as this. Yeah, we're basically at the top. You can see in the background, that's Skarnyuk 4, spot where 
I think we might be about 10 minutes away from the top of Ben Edelman. So, good. Yes. That's us, just got to the top of the first ridge. You can see up there, it's Ben Edelman. And then up here, it's Skranjuk Vor. I forgot what it's called. And then at the top of there, we've got Skranjuk Vor. So, yeah, the hard part's done now. I think, I think there's another 200 meter dip over there between the two Munros, but yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. And the views are very nice. What's that? If someone in the comments would be able to let me know what that is the remnants of, then it would be greatly appreciated. And wrong answers are also welcome. Right, we're now approaching the top of Ben Edelman. You can see the cairn in the distance. So the time now, set off about 10. So it took us uh, like two hours and 50 minutes to get here. So, but we're almost halfway down, so yeah, I reckon the whole thing might take us about six and a half hours. So, yeah, we'll see. And now you can see the cairn of Ben a little bit. Here we are at the top. Ben a little bit. Yes. So we're now just uh, slowly starting to make our way down uh, in the trough between the two Munros. But yeah, I don't see us taking more than like an hour and a half to get to the top of the other one. Um, you can see it there. So. Yeah, so here's us just walking up the side, the second one now. As you can see, it's quite quite flat and uh, not much of an incline and it's, I mean, it's not much of a path, but it's fine to walk on, so you don't really need a path. <sighs> so yeah, we're approaching the top of this one. I'll be flying my drone out uh, over the ridge, so I think I'll get some really nice footage from that. But yeah, the last bit of this one, it's been good coming down this way. Uh, last bit of this one's been a gradual incline going up the whole way, so it's been pretty easy. But yeah, not long now. So here we are at the top. You can see the trig point and cairn. Yes! Almost done. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.